Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus. Me to John and Greg about Confess Fletch in theaters on digital on demand September 16th. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. John, I find this very interesting because it's familiar territory at the same time, unfamiliar territory, because there's a lot of source material for Fletch, the books, the movies, but this is its own thing. This is coming out in theaters soon on the 16th. What's that mindset, knowing that you know people know a little bit about Fletch, but they might see a completely different perspective that you're going to bring to the character specifically? Well, it's uh, it's the difference between 1985 and 2022. There's a, there's quite a bit of difference, and we were able to uh, you know understand that obviously we're we're of the generation that's very very familiar and loves and respects the entire uh, oeuvre of Chevy Chase, much less his performance in the original uh, movies. But we understood that it's a we can't make an imitation of that. That's nobody wants to see that. It's, if they want to see that, there's 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 the movie. It's on a streaming platform near you. So we wanted to make something new for 2022 and and introduce a whole new generation of people to this character. And and to do that, we went back to the source material, the the series of novels that Gregory McDonald wrote back in the 70s and 80s, and and we we updated those for for the um, for the 21st century. And and uh, yeah, and we wanted to make a, a different take on on this character absolutely and greg my question for you there's a big appetite for true crime you see it with the podcast kind of boom in my opinion uh you know and this is obviously this you know it's a whodunit murder mystery and everything but it's funny it's got the comedic aspect of it what's that like for you specifically directing a film in kind of a time where the appetite's so big for true crime which is often seen seriously but with comedy as well i'm curious about that well, I, I mean, first of all, I love detective movies. It's one of my favorite genres, and some of my favorite films would fall into that genre. But there, and you know, there are great ones, comic ones, like go back to the Thin Man series, um, or Big Lebowski is essentially a Raymond Chandler novel told told through the eyes of a stoner. And so, I feel that there is um, a great. Well, let me put it this way. Gregory McDonald always felt that there was, a ch there was an opportunity for social commentary and satire in this genre. You could say something about the time people are living in. In those books, the, the time was the 70s and the 80s, and those books have interesting things to say about them. When, when I moved it to the 2020s, I tried to comment on things happening now, things about perhaps things like tone-deaf white privilege or influencers or, you know, some some race stuff, some things that are on people's minds now, and and watch Fletch screw with jerks and kind of be cool with oddballs. Oh, absolutely. Gentlemen, it was an honor and privilege to speak to both of you. Confess Fletch could be available September 16th. John, Greg, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. Thanks, thank man. you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.